Hey, this is Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Going to show you how to do a levitation shot today. Oh, the video here is shot with my iPhone, my 4GS. Love this little puppy. And uh, just to make it easy, because the focus of this video is the shots, the levitation shots. We're not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of post processing and cleaning up the video and trying to do, you know, redoing that. We're just going to use the raw iPhone footage, clip it in to show you how the shot was put together. We're using the D7000 with the Nikon 18 to 105 VR lens. We got a tripod and we got a few other little goodies to make the shot work. Okay, so you can see the war monument behind me. That's here in Woodstock. And we'll zoom over and show you where the camera is over here. And then we are going to show you how to stage a levitation. So first you want to take a shot of your scene. After you've taken your shot, you want to take a shot on the timer with you on, in my case, the bucket. Now, what we're going to do after the fact is, we're going to superimpose the two images on top of each other, and then we're going to use Photoshop to take out the bucket, the easy way to do levitation. Now this is the second shot behind me now, and you can see that I'm in some pretty serious sun while I'm filling this little clip on my iPhone. So basically, just showing you the basic background here where we had the second shot set up, and again, it's with the D7000 and the Nikon 18 to 105 using a tripod and my favorite red bucket. If you're unsure how to do this in Photoshop, first thing you do is take your first layer, which is the one without you in the scene. Then you take your second layer, that's with you in the scene standing on the bucket, and you paste that over top of the second layer. Then you want to go to your Edit menu and hit Auto Align Layers. Now you want to select the option to auto align them here, as you can see that I've done, because that does a good job without you having to mess around with it. Next thing you want to do is you want to highlight the top layer and that's the one with you standing on the bucket and you want to carefully use your eraser and erase out your bucket. After you've done that you'll probably want to switch to a clone brush and do a little touch up right around your feet and then voila here's what you got. Okay so once again we've got the camera set up we're in the park area now you can see the Johnny on the spot back over there behind me and uh, We've got the, uh, we had the camera on the tripod again, the D7000, took my trusty red bucket and we set it up away from the camera, put it up the tripod, got the camera all set up and again as you notice I'm shooting all my footage here with the iPhone, this is all handheld, no tripod on the iPhone so if it's a little shaky that's why. But it's live and raw and on site here at ArtOfTheImage.com.